Playboy magazine, and by extension its publisher Hugh Hefner, was a cultural juggernaut for more than half a century, selling an image of sexual liberation, fun, fantasy, housed all from the Playboy mansion. But a new 10-part docuseries on the A&E network explores an untold side of Hefner that suggests he was more monstrous sexual predator than champion of women. It features interview after interview with former playmates who allege an environment that fostered rampant sexual abuse, assault, and drug use. The women say Hefner groomed them, manipulated them, silenced anyone who tried to speak out. All of it glossed over and hidden from public view by Playboy's happy-go-lucky, liberated image and near cult-like worship of its founder. Here's a clip from the series, Secrets of Playboy. Playboy was all about powerful men preying on beautiful young women. The playmates. It was like they were pimping us out. The bunnies, girls were muffled, discarded. Let's not forget the girlfriends. It was a manipulation from the beginning. Groomed us all. Considering how public and notorious the Playboy Mansion was, a lot of people asking, why is this just coming out now? Was the mainstream media unable to see what was really going on or just willing to look the other way so long as they could buy into the fantasy of it all? Girls were passed around to Hefner's friends. They were shuffled off into the shadow mansions. VIPs assaulted and raped young women. There was a very powerful team protecting them. The documentary speaks with women who lived at the mansion as playmates, including some of Hefner's former girlfriends, like Holly Madison and Sandra Theodore, both of whom met Hefner in their late teens or early 20s, and he was, of course, decades older. Madison's described a cult-like feeling at the mansion and even brainwashing. You had a nine o'clock curfew. You were encouraged to not have friends over. You weren't really allowed to leave unless it was like a family holiday. Now there are rules like, can you have boyfriends at all? No. You're not allowed half to. Half is our boyfriends. How so. do you know when you're called to the master bedroom? It's, do you have nights? Yeah. 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 The sex always happened kind of like the same time, the same night. We would go out to a club every Wednesday and Friday, and that would be expected when we got home. Ahead of the documentary, Playboy Enterprises issued a statement sort of distancing itself, distancing itself from the allegations uh, made against its founder, who died in 2017. It reads in part, first and foremost, we want to say we trust and validate women in their stories. We strongly support the individuals who come forward to share their experiences. The Hefner family is no longer associated with Playboy, and today Playboy is not Hugh Hefner's Playboy. But others, including former playmates, employees, and bunnies, have come forward to defend Hefner. Joining me now to discuss her extensive reporting is filmmaker and director and my good friend, Alexandra Dean. Alexandra, thank you for coming on the show. Appreciate it. Thanks so much for having me, Dan. So tell me about what you expected going into this documentary versus what it became. I didn't really have strong expectations. It was the beginning of the pandemic. I really, um, I was a little bored and I was uh, offered the chance to start researching Playboy and I started cold calling women who had been in the Playboy mansion, women who had been famous girlfriends of Hefner, uh, women who were playmates and I just listened to their stories. Were you surprised by some of the pushback that you've been getting hundreds of former girlfriends and playmates, employees signed an open letter saying that the, uh, the allegations are unfounded? No, <laughs> I wasn't surprised at all. Because in my reporting, I really saw how many people did still revere him and hadn't seen behind the curtain to the other half, you know, the darker half. And that was really interesting to me. He was very successfully two different people. He was the Hefner that we saw in the press. He was, you know, a liberal um, champion in many ways, liberal causes. And at the same time, he was really dark and um, scary to the women who shared a bedroom, bedroom with him. And it wasn't something that the people who were out there in the party room would have necessarily seen. Now, the, the documentary has some headline grabbing moments that have been generating some buzz in particular recently about allegations of bestiality uh, by Hefner, untimely deaths, meaning possibly suicide. You know, I, I presume you expected this would be big and it would be controversial. 
Is it even more so than you expected? Yeah, it's a lot more big and controversial than I expected. Um, it's really generated this enormous response. And, you know, I'm actually off filming my next project, so I'm kind of blindsided by all of this response all the time. Um, I'm surprised by it. I thought, you know, there are people who also say, oh, this has been out there about Hefner forever. We know this. Tell us something new. So I thought there would be, you know, more voices like that. Um, I think no one's ever connected the dots before. Um, and we really connected the dots. We really took all the research that we did and we painted a portrait of a playboy that spun out of control over five decades. Let me play another piece of sound. Uh, this is number one from, uh, from A&E uh, from the documentary. Playboy was dangerous to women. It all went back to Hugh Hefner. I woke up with him on top of me. Hef was a predator. Hefner and his friends ruined women's lives. Who are you going to tell when they're all doing it? He didn't take no for an answer. I'm Hugh Hefner. I take what I want. We have to come forward with the truth. Now, there have been a, a lot of questions based on the pushback of, you know, what's true, what's not, people posing questions about some of what these women have said. But you also left a lot on the cutting room floor, right? Right. If I couldn't corroborate something with an independent source, if I couldn't find that written source, I didn't use it. Um, in fact, a lot of what you see is corroborated by a deep set of reporting that is perhaps even more shocking. But we can't report that because we don't have the corroboration for that next level. So what you're seeing is often the tip of the iceberg. Do you think that the rest of that information will come out eventually? I really do, Dan. I think that this is going to be a dam bursting. And I've already had phone calls from many other women who are thinking about coming forward. Hmm. Wow. Now, uh, Cooper Hefner tweeted, uh, this is number five, some may not approve of the life my dad chose, but my father was not a liar. However unconventional, he was sincere in his approach and lived honestly. He was generous in nature and cared deeply for people. These salacious stories are a case study of regret becoming revenge. What do you make of that? It's a son who loved his dad, you know? And I'm glad that Hef was a good dad to Cooper and that he feels that way. And he's loyal. You know, that, that means that in that part of his life, he did something well. I don't think Cooper was there when most of these, when all of these allegations took place. Uh, many of them are from before he was born. So how could he know what happened? And I'm sure he's shocked and saddened and horrified to hear these stories. But I hope as they continue to pour forth that he also joins Playboy in supporting these women. Yeah. I, I think it's important to remember, as those of you are watching this documentary, which I highly recommend you do, Alexandra Dean is a journalist uh, by background and took a very journalistic approach to how she moved forward with this and what she did and did not include in this documentary. Alexandra, or Alex, I mean, you know, I don't know. Alex, I assume that's what you go by to everyone, not just me. Alex, thank you for coming on the show. Appreciate it. Congratulations on all of the success of this terrific documentary. Thank you for watching. Click the red subscribe button below so you can get more of News Nation's fact-driven, unbiased coverage.